Hi there Scorpio Sag, welcome to your reading. So today we're having a little September look into your love life, your career, your overall energy, and that's it. That's essentially it. <laughs> so let's get right into it. And ooh, we already have some cards falling out, but before we get into those, I do want to mention that I was like connecting with your energy. I was doing my little uh, protection ritual and everything. And I did see a tulip, which is a symbolism of perfect, uh, like unconditional deep love. So I guess in your love department, things could be looking pretty good. We even have here the three of cups, bottom of the deck. So there could be, um, I would even say that this could be like, you were building a very good friendship with someone and things could be leveling up. Who knows? But um, obviously the deep, perfect love could also be around your community, your family members, the things around you. So um, that is also very good. Let's see what we have here. So, ooh, we actually love this. So we have change with two of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, and then we have success with the six of pentacles. Honestly, I kind of feel like things before, um, I'm getting like in the past few months, uh, but take that however resonates, p perhaps like the past three months even, um, I kind of feel like things may have been career-wise, money-wise, may have been a little bit shaky. Um, maybe I'm getting like confusion. So maybe you weren't really sure of like, what is your path? Where do you need to go? What is the next step? Uh, where are things taking you? And I feel like this month is September. I really feel like you are aligning with um, what you're supposed to be doing. Not that you're not aligned now, but I do feel like there is this thing of like, crystal clear vision and i mean we even have here success with the six of pentacles so i do feel like you are uh connected a lot with that side of your career where you're not afraid to make moves and i feel like you're going to know exactly which moves um to make and that is really good so we also have here libra coming through and aquarius gemini actually oh this is actually cancer i thought it was gemini um but there is strong air energy here you could be dealing with an air sign it doesn't have to be but aquarius energy here this is a very um like innovative energy i believe that is the word <laughs> but uh it's like it's very fresh full of ideas full of optimism and not necessarily optimism but there is this thing of like I'm, i am getting a bit of sag energy uh where i feel like you are diving deep into your soul but there is this thing of like, I know I can do it. I know this is going to be good. You know, uh, I am getting a strong energy around career. So your career could really be shifting here. And I really feel like you could be seeing a lot of good things um, happening in that area this month. And with Libra here, this is the ruler of the seventh house of relationships ruled by Venus, the planet of love. So again, I do feel like your love situation is looking pretty good. And this success could also be talking about like things shifting here for you in terms of success and love so that is also very good but those signs could be i don't know if i already mentioned it but those signs could be signs that you're connecting with or could be significant for you in the month of september um it doesn't have to be but i really get this energy of you being very um, mentally active i really get that you're going to get a lot of ideas i feel like things are going to flow for you <laughs> and maybe it's a bit too much because we do have don't think so this don't think i feel like it's more of a don't question you know have faith you'll make it is like if you have that idea if you have that urge to do something don't think just do it you know uh and have faith that you're going to be successful have faith that things are going to work really nicely for you because i feel like you're being so supported by your guides this wheel of fortune is um like divine plans you know it's divinely orchestrated and i really feel like you're being super supported by your guides in the universe so it's like don't overthink it. Just do it. Just connect with that person. You know, just go out on that date. Just do whatever you have to do and have fun with it. Okay. I feel like um, you're going to be in a very prosperous and abundant place this month. All right. So let's get a little deeper look into your career first and then we'll get into love. Oh, this is actually really beautiful. So we have the void and then we have a release with assessing here and blossoming. And I do feel like this perhaps is like the beginning of your month could be about this release and, and assessing. Um, and then throughout the rest of the month, you are, and I, I would even say like until the end of the year, there is this blossoming energy where I really feel like you're getting very creative and I feel like you're getting very um, enlightened and inspired as well. And 
with this void i really feel like this is where you have been where things again they may have seemed a very um a big cold they may have seemed like you didn't really have too many options like things weren't really working out your way uh and i really feel like possibilities solutions are coming your way and you're able to see like the light at the end of the tunnel and i also feel like this is talking about like limiting beliefs around money around um success even and i feel like you're reframing those things and you know there's no better time for you to start than today so uh whenever you're watching this video it's like reflect a little bit journal a little bit if you have to around like what is your belief around success it's like yeah we all want success we all want money but if we take a deep dive into it sometimes we're actually afraid of it like uh let's say i believe this was i don't know if it was Haley hoffs uh hoffman smith something like that or if it was anushka uh from abundantly anushka that um she said like everyone wants ten thousand dollars like today let's say you're trying to manifest ten thousand dollars today we all want it but if you take a deep look into it imagine you're receiving that money would you feel overwhelmed by having it what would you do with that money if you really start thinking about having those 10k what would you do how would you feel how would you react and i feel like the same thing with success you know um and i feel like part of you may be just slightly afraid of having it and i feel like working through that and um doing a little bit of introspection around your money beliefs your success beliefs i feel like that could really help you to move forward and we have here the fool so there's clearly this beautiful energy of you taking a leap of faith and you stepping into a new place uh in your career and we even have here the chariot which is a card of success and victory and you getting into really beautiful places and i would even say that there is this thing of like new fresh energy not necessarily like it's a new career doesn't have to be but i do feel like there is a new cycle and wherever you are in your career situation i do feel like there are new beginnings here there are new products there are new stages i would even say that this could be uh, not necessarily a promotion but you could be getting a bit more attention and it's like go with the flow enjoy it use it in your advantage and we even have here this is beautiful we even have here the sun card the two cups like do things from a place of heart from a place of love we we did have that tulip talking about love right so it's like having this deep perfect love for your career not really thinking about the end goal of money think about the end goal has i did have fun and that is okay that is that is the thing that i'm searching for the thing that i'm looking for the thing that i aspire to have in my career and i really feel like that can help you to really align with money um because you know money loves to have fun <laughs> you know money loves to um be in a welcoming not so serious energy it's like yes be serious about taking care of money but when it comes to gaining that money it's like have fun with it you know let yourself be surprised let yourself be um inspired to look into different things to look into different sources of income uh and all of all of those things okay and with this page of swords i really feel like there is this thing of like there may be opportunities for the fool for new cycles that may be a little bit sneaky may be a little bit um it may it may require you to step a little bit out of your comfort zone and to think a little bit outside the box and it's interesting that we have don't think it's like don't be too logical about things this aquarius energy is really important it's really like connect with that like just think you're in the moon how would you make money in the moon <laughs> you know something like that it's like really think outside the box really think um outside of what it is supposed for you to do and what people are expecting you to do because i feel like that is where you're going to find the biggest success and the biggest uh development and growth here okay so let's pull here some advice for you uh before we get into love okay we have a flipper here which is mind wow we have a lot of like thought energy uh, and it's interesting because you don't have, I mean, you may have it in your chart, in like your rising sign, your moon or something like that. Uh, maybe even your Mercury, your Mercury could be an air sign, but um, because Mercury deals with thinking and everything uh, and communication. But you have a lot of like mind, swords, energy 
thoughts energy so uh that is going to be quite significant for you and it makes sense because we're entering libra season so uh the end of the month and october could be very significant for you in that aspect but we do have your mind you are the master of your inner world and you decide how the outer world affects you cultivate a calm inner state so it's really about maybe meditating would also be good uh but i i do keep hearing like um journaling so just like anything that lets you like push your thoughts out and create more peace i feel like that is what you um are being asked to do okay so we also have space the quality of your life has more to do with what you remove from your life than what you add to it give yourself the gift of space so i do feel like this is all talking about those thoughts those mindsets and we even have here a little book so um yeah that's really like a sign of like don't be afraid to journal because i really feel like that is going to ha help you even with like getting ideas i feel like as you're writing down about i don't know you're really pissed because your nuggets got burned for dinner you know and you're just like really venting it ah i can't believe this and all of a sudden it's like something clicks for you and you're like oh wait this is actually a good idea maybe i could do something about this you know um and i really feel like that is going to help you but i really feel like there is a strong sense here around like clearing old wounds clearing um the attic you know around beliefs and um preconceived ideas of what money and success looks like especially success what success looks like it doesn't have to be the same and it's not the same for everyone so maybe ask yourself a little bit uh what does success look like to you all right so we also have here change a resistance to change is a resistance to life itself open your heart and mind to new beginnings which you're clearly having here so just go with the flow and let yourself be surprised okay let's get here into love and see what we have so again, with that uh, Libra energy, oh my goodness, uh, with that Libra energy, it's very likely that you're having a good love life in September. We do have here retreat, uh, bottom of the deck, we have let your friends help you. And what did I mention here before about friends? So this could be like you're going out on friends, even here with the retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. It could be, um, I actually think that is for me. Uh, I don't know if you heard the, the hunk, but yeah. Um, with this retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. I really get this feeling of, I don't know, like going on a trip or not. I don't necessarily get like a trip, but it could be something like just going out clubbing, just having fun with your friends, just allowing yourself to be inspired, you know, and... I feel like you could actually meet someone there or things could develop like maybe you're already in a relationship we're actually going to divide like single people and uh divine counterparts and everything um but if you're in a committed relationship it could even be like a little weekend getaway and everything i do feel like this is going to like something is happening here where you're <laughs> i'm going to say i was going to say like you're falling in love so it could be but it could be that you're meeting someone or things are developing here when you're truly like having fun and just enjoying life, just being at your best, you know, and seeing where things take you. So let's take a look here at some ooh, tarot. And oh, my God, we do have the orchid, which is very similar to the world card. So again, maybe you're traveling the world. Maybe, you know, that does talk about travel. Um, so I do feel like there is some sort of uh, going out like you're out and about just doing your thing just having fun and boom you receive an offer of love very passionate i feel like it's going to be quite good uh it could be that you're also for some of you could still be attached to some energy from the past and i feel like um this retreat is also talking about that it's like let go of that energy move forward and be open to meeting new people be open to um allowing yourself to just enjoy life and to just connect with people around you okay um let's get here one for the divine counterparts committed relationships what can you tell us uh -huh, we actually have two and we have another card that talks about travel which is this goldfinch uh and well actually the two of ones also does talk about travel but i do feel like there is a crossroads here where you're really shifting towards a new beginning especially for the divine counterparts that are in separation at the moment i do feel like there is going to be an opportunity to finish the cycle before that it was a bit toxic perhaps that wasn't really working 
moving forward and just connecting with this new possibility for something really good and balanced and also something that allows you to to grow and allows you to to create something um bigger than what you thought it could be before you know and especially with this retreat card these two dudes are even like in a wedding in wedding gowns so um I really feel like this could be developing to a new stage. Maybe if you're in a committed relationship, it could be that, you know, you're going on a little trip and surprise, you're getting proposed. <laughs> so it could definitely be because we do have this page of pentacles coming through, which I always do see. Uh, well, always when it comes to these situations, I do see it has a proposal, has someone offering you um, a commitment. So I do feel like for committed people, well, you could be getting married or at least you're getting into the next stage of the relationship and i do feel like it's going to go very far again divine counterparts i do feel like there is a new cycle here where there's more freedom and more happiness as well and for the single people with this orchid i really get this feeling of like allow yourself to be there allow yourself to connect with this person and to meet new people i would even say with this um orchid uh this person may even be a little bit like different from your usual type or in or uh i feel like there's also this energy of um like them being from a, a different country a different ethnicity even something around those lines it's like this person may be may come has a surprise on how they show up to you and who they actually are because i feel like at first you may again at first you may just be connecting with this friendship maybe this is already a friend that you have and during this little trip or whatever you start connecting a little bit more and it's like oh gosh i'm catching feelings what the heck go with the flow okay but i really feel like this is going to be uh someone you're not expecting um and i do feel like like this girl is even like just sitting and reading a book so i really feel like it's when you're connecting with yourself and doing what is best for you so again if there is still anything from the past that you need to let go of please do okay because i don't think that that thing from the past is um aligned with you anymore and i feel like there are new opportunities there for you okay oh yeah we have the penguin coming through diamond light activation uh, light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. So there's definitely some new energy coming forward for you. Let's get ooh, one more. Kangaroo, courage. You're being tested. Have faith and stand in your truth. So I really feel like with this, um, you're being tested is like, do you really want your manifestation? Do you really want love? Because if you do, it's here. Are you ready for it? Right? I feel like your guides are testing you a little bit to see. Okay. Is Scorpius Hat really ready? Are you really like moving this forward? And I also feel like they are very excited about this person. I feel like this is especially for the single people. Um, but yeah, so Scorpius Hat, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me and to subscribe if you haven't already. There is going to be a link below for a private reading. And you can also check out my um, pick a car channel, the Bird's Nest Tarot. Um, for, well, pick a car. Readings. <laughs> so with that being said, I love it very much. I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.